another royal event, Royal Ascot. Here, at least for some, the dress is a lot less formal. The crowds come not only for the racing, but also for the spectacular fashion. It's the golden opportunity for the ladies to compete in the Ascot fashion stakes. Some girls are cagey about their styles. But this year, the mere male can choose between morning clothes and lounge suit. Quite a few of them took advantage of the relaxed ruling. But the grey toppers were still abundant. The Queen and Queen Mother, by example, indicated that the main purpose of the event was to race horses. And Ascot attract some of the finest in the world. The parade here was for the Queen's Vars. The fashion was forgotten for a few minutes as the three-year-olds got into their stride for the two-mile race. Racing for the post was Charles Claus Zorba II, a 10 to 1 chance, followed by the favourite Hurry Hurry, and third, O Feet, at 100 to 9. The racing over for a while, the crowd resumed its fashion form spotting. There was plenty to see, you could hardly miss some. The ladies said it weighed a ton. There were others who didn't have to try very hard to be noticed. A young actress, Tandy Cronin, gave herself a head start on the road to the sweet smell of success by wearing a dress and etc. made entirely of real flowers. She's what you might call a well-cultivated girl. Ascot now seems to be a place where it's just as profitable to pick flowers as winners. <laughs>